Hello everybody, my name is Alavar and welcome to uh, the New Heroes trailer. Now, uh, a friend of mine uh, recommended this to me um, yesterday. They were like, mate, mate, you've, you should watch this. Um, it looks quite interesting. So I thought, okay, fuck it, why not? Um, I've not actually read a comic in, in quite a while, so I'm quite intrigued to see what this has to offer. I don't actually know anything about New Heroes or Heroes or anything like that anyway. I don't think I've ever read um, a comic book on that so let's i'm going to jump in i'm completely blind i don't really know what like i said i've never watched anything like this um or read any of the comics so i don't really know but a friend of mine said to watch it says it looks quite cool so fuck it i'm assuming these are the heroes yeah. My name is Daniel Kibblesmith, and I am the writer of New Warriors Number 1. I got interested in the New Warriors later. I remember seeing them on the shelf when I was okay, a so kid, picking up comics in the 90s, and just feeling like they were too cool for me. Like I was intimidated by, you know, Night Thrasher had a blade coming out of his wrist. You know, Nova was really buff. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> but the guy just said he was intimidated by superheroes. And that guy was really buff. What? I'm I'm a bit confused with that. He's not intimidated to. They were all the edgy characters uh, for the '90s, edgy. as the as the cover said. New Warriors, I thought, right. were really interesting characters because they occupy this really cool space. They're forever young, but they've now been around for Superheroes 30 years. Superheroes are meant to be cool. My uh, editors on the, the previous so cool. uh, books I'd done, like uh, Loki and Black Panther vs. Deadpool, asked if I'd Got be interested him. in doing a New Warriors tie-in that actually poses them as the authority figures in this conflict instead of the rebels. And I really liked okay. the tension of that. So because the new warriors are the authority figures in this story, they have to be mentoring new new warriors who are under 21 and uh, subject to... What? What the fuck? What is that? Okay. Oh, I know why he sent me this now. I know why I've been sent this. This is a joke. This is a, this is a joke. This is like an April Fool's, an early April Fool's joke. Ha ha. Very funny. Th this can't be real. This isn't legit. These are not new superheroes. One. What is... <laughs> what is that girl... In the nicest possible way. How can she be a superhero? What's her power? I'm intrigued to know what that is. If it, I hope they say that in this video. Because I want to know what the hell she does. And what the fuck is the dude on the right? The guy on the middle looks okay. I mean he's got like a visor. And he's got quite cool hair. So it's not, that's not the end of the world. The two people on the left. Have they gone for this whole like. Oh. Guys can have pink and girls don't always have to have pink. They can have blue kind of thing. Because what the fuck do they look like? What do they look like? The, the, oh, the laws uh, that triggered the outlawed event. This new law is making it illegal to be a vigilante in the age of 21. The artist on New Warriors number one is Luciano Vecchio. He designed all of they the new, new Warriors awful. and gave them costumes that felt they as look, modern uh, as the New Warriors shit. costumes to sort of feel classic so and instantly shit. familiar. So the first character that we're introduced to is Trailblazer. She's a uh, group home. <laughs> Trailblazer. <laughs> she... She is called Trail Blazer. <laughs> she is called Trail Blazer. Is she the eyebrow razor? She, she's raising my fucking eyebrows. You can't really see because I've got my beanie on, but. Trail Blazer. What the. What the. What is going on? What is going on with Marvel? Why? 
Oh, it's right. Roman Foster, a kid who is volunteering at a uh, senior center when shit. this mysterious threat shows up and Night Thrasher runs to the rescue. And because she helps him, she ends up uh, in the crosshairs with this new outlawed law. And she oh. inherited from her grandfather a uh, magic backpack it's tiny. of it's divine like tiny origin. You she's... take the name Trailblazer because she's somebody who charges into action. <laughs> Charges into action. This, 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 um, little lady charges, charges into action. Well, I'll tell you something if she hits someone, she's gonna do a hell of a lot of damage. So, she might come in handy after all. Try, are they taking the piss? The, the guy's talking, David or whatever his name was. Is it? If, if he's in this interview with a straight face and he genuinely believes this is good, he is a fucking mo He gets paid for this shit. I, I bust my ass off working a really hard job and get paid pittance probably compared to him. And this numbskull is writing shitty comics like this and getting paid loads. Give, give me that power and I would make unreal, amazing comics. Because it wouldn't be shit like this, I can tell you that much. Trailblazer, looking like that, and she likes to charge in. It's a fucking joke. That's that. It's it's purposely laughable. It's purposely got to be a joke. I All right, uh, we've got the other characters still. She knows that she can do some good with this new mysterious gift that she's been given. Or a backpack. Mm. Screen time is a internet Screen kid time. taken to its sort of logical conclusion. As a youth, name? he was exposed to his grandfather's experimental internet gas, and that has patched him permanently internet into gas. the World Wide Web. The word screen time is only ever used in a sort of restrictive this guy's a sense. And because we're doing a story about teenage him. rebels, uh, a lot of the names are about teens uh, fighting against labels that are put on them. God. So with screen time, we liked oh. the idea that... Fighting against labels. Oh, you've labeled me. Oh, I'm so offended. Oh, there's going to be one called offended, isn't there? Or offender. Offender. There's going to be one called... It's going to be the offender. It's going to be the offender. Or the offended. I don't fucking know. Oh my god, there's going to be one called the offender or something like that. I got that he has infinite screen time. Snowflake infinite. and Safe Space are the twins. I can't do it. I can't do it. Why have I, why have I been sent this? <coughs> why have I been sent this? Why have I been sent this? S S Snowflake and safe space. Snowflake, safe space. The, these are two. Oh, it's gonna be that fucking blue. It's, yeah, it's the blue and fucking pink dude. These are two names of superheroes. Super heroes. People that fight crime, fight the villains, the bad guys, save the world, kick ass. Look, everybody. Look to the sky. We have Snowflake and Safe. Oh, fuck it. Jesus Christ. I can't. I. I Oh, I should never have watched this. And their names are very similar oh, to screen time. Statement. It's this idea that these are terms look that get thrown statement. around on the internet that they don't see as uh, derogatory, derogatory to take those words and kind of wear them as badges of honor. Safe Space is kind of a big, burly, sort of stereotypical jock. He can create force fields. All right. Did, 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 did this guy just say, this dude? Safe space mm. is a stereotypical jock. Okay, well, I don't. We don't really have jocks in England, but from what I know of, and I've been to America multiple times in many countries, many states, should I say? Jocks do not look like this. I I can guarantee you, a million percent, jocks do not look like that. They don't look like that. With pink hair and pink eyes and interesting outfit, interesting attire. 
what what's the, what planet is this guy on who's designing this shit or writing this shit? What planet is he on? Look, everybody, it's safe space. Oh, fuck off. Fields, but he can only trigger oh, them if God. he's yeah, protecting chuckle, somebody right. else. Mm. Snowflake is non-binary oh. and goes by they, them. Snowflake has the power to generate individual crystallized snowflake-shaped shurikens. The connotations of the word snowflake in our culture right now are something fragile. And uh, this you is are. a character who... That's true. Snowflakes are fragile. Like this guy. This guy is a snowflake. He's an idiot. Th th this ain't gonna sell. This ain't gonna sell. This comic book is going to do unbelievably bad. Who, like, there's a small, small, small percentage that are, like, into this shit. Majority of people are not. Fucking Snowflake. Who is uh, turning it into something sharp. Snowflake mm. is the person who has the more offensive power. And safe space is the person who has the more defensive power. The idea was that uh, they would mirror each other and complement each other. B negative is the goth kid. When B he was a baby, he got a rogue life-saving blood transfusion. We assume from Michael Morbius, and now you he has a very assume. similar look and very similar vampire powers. They look nothing B alike. B negative also is no, obviously no, 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 a punk. No, 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 no. Similar look. Oh, what, because he looks all vampire -y, it's the similar look. He looks nothing like Morbius. Morbius actually looks cool and badass, and you wouldn't want to fuck with him. This guy looks like he's just had a bad day, and he's going to go up and cry. And do something drastic to his hair, like dye it. They, this looks, all I can think about is, imagine, imagine being a villain, or being a villain, like you're, like, you're Thanos, for fuck's sake. You're, you're Thanos. You're destroying New York City. And these heroes, <laughs> these heroes pumping along and go, stop, looking like this, that, that, that's enough to indicate they're no threat at all, just like that. They jump along and they go, I'm Snowflake, I'm safe space. And then the fucking other one comes, charges in, I'm Trailblazer, yeah, yeah, so intimidating. These are the heroes we want in this day and age, yeah. Yeah, it's something to look up to, aspire to be. Hun, it's a blood type, <laughs> it's a uh, which is hilarious. great for a vampire character. And hilarious. it's also a proud ownership of the idea of having a bad attitude. Okay, I want the people who read so Our New Warriors edgy. to feel all of the excitement that they felt uh, if they read the 90s one. We want it to have big, colorful characters, personality clashes, uh, romance. A diverse cast, which oh, is something that the New Warriors cast, titles right. have always strived to make a priority. Every New Warriors comic has always felt like a reflection of the, the year that it came out. And uh, I don't think we're worried about being dated. I think we're way more interested about it being now. Well, there you have it, folks. It's the New Warriors comic on sale April the 15th. A day that no one is going to buy that. And I've just realized of something I said earlier. It's not actually, it doesn't appear to be an April Fool's joke. This actually looks legit. This actually looks like proper, a proper comic book. <laughs> Fuck, I can't, I can't say it. This actually looks like a comic book that's actually being made. It's not a farce or a joke. It's real. Someone's actually made this thinking this is going to do well and it's a good idea and the characters look cool and inspiring people are mad people are people are people are mad people are mad well do you know what i get i get sent some interesting stuff i get some sent some interesting stuff well i hope let me know what you guys think down in the comments below um some of you might like it <laughs> Uh, but I am definitely intrigued to see what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.